Okay, so we're here at RJ Boyle Studios in Pompano Beach, Lighthouse Point, Florida, and we're going to talk for a minute about ballyhoo selection. When you go to a tackle shop and you select your ballyhoos, they're basically going to come in four or five different sizes. You're going to have what's called small ballyhoos, you're going to have what's called a medium to large ballyhoo, we're going to then have what's called a select ballyhoo, and then finally the biggest ballyhoos are going to be called horse ballyhoos. Now there are several things to pay attention to when you're looking for baits in a tackle shop. Ballyhoos will spawn at different times of the year. When they're inshore on the grass flats and pre-spawn, you'll see that their excrement is actually a vibrant green color. That's the ideal ballyhoo that you're looking for because at that time of the year when they show that green excrement, their bellies and their skin is going to be a little bit tougher than it is later in the year when you'll see some excrement that's actually brown. Not that one's a, a bad bait or a good bait, but if you can find the green, you are going to be better off as far as how long your baits hold up on the troll. Another thing you want to be careful about when you're buying ballyhoos is look over the package. Make sure that the vacuum seal is intact. You do not want baits loose in the pack because that means that they're starting to get freezer burn. The other thing is you want to look around the heads of the ballyhoos. Make sure there's no broken bills or jaws or anything, any imperfections in the fish. And then, maybe most importantly, when you get ready to defrost your ballyhoos for use, you don't ever want to just stick them in a bucket of water to defrost them quickly. If you were going to eat a really good quality steak tonight at home and you took it out of the freezer, you would never submerge it in a sink of water to defrost that way. It would turn mushy and brown. The same thing goes for baits. When you defrost them slowly in a cooler overnight or in the shade on the back of your boat, the natural defrosting of the bait will let that bait hold up much better when you go to actually use it. If you put them in a bucket of water and you defrost them very quickly, you're going to promote mushy bellies and washed out baits. So make sure that you defrost them when you can uh, in, a, in a nice slow manner.